best friend or boyfriend like you're talking about lose motion and i'm okay with being successful and being single throughout my aishwarya rai has left with amita bachchan <laughs> i just i hate all men but i'll be very honest with you so you've scared. been with very wrong people this beautiful studio is by taper fox who are our official studio partners so we have kalash with us and we have divya i don't want to say a lot about them i just want them to introduce themselves so kalash and divya what's up hey guys the we introduce <laughs> no <laughs> tell what's your name on instagram I'll introduce that you. that rolls off your tongue hi guys this is kailash kumar he is the face of broke brothers uh he's the one who goes and asks everybody what do you do for a living and how much you earn and how much you earn in 10 years and then 15 years and then and when, give them existential crisis yeah you <laughs> make everyone rethink all their life choices uh-huh. and be like is the course i'm studying something i really want to study am i going to make money did that happen to you not really you never asked a lawyer that's no? because you didn't complete your course no <laughs> oh they were that was <laughs> i have completed my course what do you mean <laughs> some 10 times she's going to give some re examination dude okay guys i have not given any re examination for 10 times this is all misinformation <laughs> that kailash is giving you the only thing that happened was i didn't have attendance last year this sem so i had to repeat that one subject and my college is like a little like bitchy oh, like that can they you tell us the college name by the way the college you went to once i get my degree i'll tell you <laughs> <laughs> once it's in my hand i'll tell you <laughs> okay so that was a good introduction for kalash kalash okay. i think you should introduce, you should introduce uh, this is divya she's my manager that's her entire identity <laughs> <laughs> that's all nothing else i don't know anything else <laughs> no no i'm kidding uh, she's a uh, she's a lifestyle <laughs> influencer <laughs> right whose name doesn't roll off of your tongue very easily and tell Thanks. the main account <laughs> name so and the <laughs> the main account name is no comments no miss self sabotage yeah and uh, her handle is no comments so that's that's her in a in a nutshell nutshell right right so kalash starting with you so obviously we all know about broke brothers so he's the face behind broke brothers we all know about broke brothers so how has that journey been for you because it is not easy from where from zero and i know you started in the month of october if i'm not wrong and it's what december it's december year, yeah like, over a year yeah over a year so it's been almost a one, almost one year and you've almost hit 500k followers how how has this journey been it's been i mean uh i don't know bro like it, it's been fun if if that's what you're asking it's been there've been good days there've been bad days there've been horrible days and yeah there are days where you feel on top of the world and there are days when you feel like shit that's that's how it is and like were there was there a time when you felt really low because the content was not performing or hmm. like was there a time like that yeah yeah but i mean uh it happened like luckily for me it happened in the first month itself like so we posted on the 1st of october and until i think 10th of november we we were at 300 followers and but our friends would be like bro content is so good too good what the where the fuck are the views dude is not and, coming and i remember you started off with the memes if i'm yeah, not wrong yeah, the yeah. the fun yeah, yeah. fun videos right what was that i mean it was just like random stuff about how much you spend on alcohol how much like your outfit what's your most expensive gift all of all of these stuff i thought it was ridiculous that, that is why right. that is why they changed the whole so, concept content. later so going when, forward you know also for we all met one year back exactly in october right you <laughs> i knew of you in october okay. so they told me that this kailash and walks pop and i was like what the fuck is all of this <laughs> <laughs> what is walks pop did you know what walks pop no i was what? like what are they saying <laughs> i i didn't get it i was like walks walks what walks, walks. <laughs> I, I fact, can't. It's just really difficult to pronounce it. Vox, Vox pop. pop. I was like, Vox box. Vox <laughs> box. I was like, what is Vox box? Like, what is that? And then like, you ask questions. I'm like, why are you bothering people in the street? It's just fucking ridiculous. And now, a year from now, I am doing Vox pop. I know, right? Anybody does it for the views now. I think. I think. But honestly, I think you are the first creator who started the trend of Vox pop mm-hmm. in such a huge scale. You know, people in Church Street now come and they want to be Vox popped. Like people come, yeah. with, like they. But they, there's also. 
a set of people who don't want like Fuck they want to just don't yeah. talk to them go to the people I want there well, I know who's who do it <laughs> there are people who are fully like oh I want I've always wanted to do this yeah, right that's yeah. we stop going on church street just by the way yeah, yeah. that is why he has like no, private go he has this private yeah. uh, what do you call that scheduled interviews scheduled interviews right big people I mean that's where the money autograph is autograph so. <laughs> obviously dude 500k obviously a big person sitting right in front of us okay with that we move to divya no. who is who, who calls herself a lifestyle influencer <laughs> but <laughs> she creates content around fashion, fashion. But I, Divya, you can know, you explain that but i'm not talking about fashion i talk about all random things go go watch my videos i say whatever comes to my mind so i feel lifestyle influencer someone who has a lot of money is that true if you are a lifestyle influencer i'm not like Bali lifestyle influencer. Okay, I'm like real <laughs> lifestyle. Basundari lifestyle. Yeah, bro. Church street lifestyle influencer. No church street. Basundari is right. I'm Basundari lifestyle influencer. So that is that is so good. Now coming down to the whole idea of this podcast. Okay, because we know you as creators, but we do not know what is behind that. What is the backstory of you guys? I don't think people want to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all messed up. Yeah, they want to Do know. they really have to know? They don't have to know. <laughs> they have to know. They really need to know because what we show See, he said on back camera. So you plugged in. Yeah, right? smart, smart, plug no? in, no? Yeah. <laughs> so because we see on camera a lot of things, but there's a lot behind it. Okay, so I want to know first, both of you. Just have you ever been in love? Hmm. He's doing to me what I do on church. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel? How does what feel? Love? No. Ha- yeah. Have you ever been in love? I don't know, bro. What? I yeah. Wait. Oh, so you know? When yeah, I fully been... have. I know. I've been in love. Okay. Explain. I'm what is that? What is that? Okay. What is what is love to you? It's 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 a feeling, you know. When you, for no, there's no reason or rhyme to it. You when it happens, it happens, and you just feel it that you're in love with somebody. You're talking about loose motion. <laughs> when it happens, it happens. <laughs> It's a feeling. <laughs> There's no right to it. When it happens, it happens. No. Oh my God. If you're in love, you know you're in love. If you don't know that you're in love, then you haven't been in love. Have okay. you got those butterflies? Are you talking about those butterflies in your stomach? No, it's it's a feeling. It doesn't happen like it's not no love at first sight and all that. All that's r- rubbish. You eventually, you know, you talk to a person. You're with this person for a while, and then you look at them, and you're like, "Fuck, I love that person." That feeling will come. Do you think you can be in love only once? No, you can be in love multiple, multiple times. times. Yeah. Hmm. Kela, shout out to you. What is love to you, by the way? What is love to me? What huh? is love to you? I feel like love is uh, the willingness to make sacrifices for the rest of your life without rhyme and reason. That is so good. Oh. Both of you, how many relationships have you been in so far? Define relationship. Mm-hmm. Relationships could be situationships. Mm-hmm. Could be not one night stands. could uh it could be situationships it could be friends with benefits it could be real relationships it could be short relationships it could be long term relationships so all of it together except one night stands i've been into proper relationships everything else i don't know about how many how many i don't know no I, <laughs> yeah. you can't count or what i don't know what is consider i don't know if i can even consider some of them as a situationship or not see that is the problem you know a lot of people they go into that Zone and then later like, according to me, I was not in a relationship. The other person might be, and then you not. don't count them. But that <laughs> the is wrong. Person might be. <laughs> Even I don't think anybody else is counting me in these situationships. You are not counting yourself. What do you mean? Yeah, because it wasn't like mentionable. These two are fine. So, so how many? Even in two yeah. relationships. Yeah. Are you sure? I'm certain. At least two. No, two. Full stop. Okay. I'm confidently saying I've been with in two. the same person twice or like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you say you every time you see that person you fall in love again and again. again. <laughs> no, two. To I'll sacrifice people. again. <laughs> My willingness to sacrifice. Two separate people. Hmm. So two separate people. That was a proper relationship. Yeah. No situationships so far. No. Nothing else. Nothing mentionable. Like I said. <laughs> Okay, can I ask you? Two, two, three. Yay! Okay, three relationships, like proper relationships. Yeah, I mean, if if okay, one of it, I mean, I I don't want to count because it's like childish See? stuff. I no, but I don't want to count. I didn't, I didn't include all that. Huh? Then two. No, but what is that? I don't want to count. 
No, because see, I was in school Dude, like, and it makes no sense. You can't right? include your school relationships. Why? Yeah, the, I'll tell you the name. Oh I've, my I've, God. In Wait, school, I dated include, three people. Yeah. Uh, how, how many have you been in? I said this in the last podcast as well. I've been in like or or about five relationships. Five. Uh, yeah, and that's why he's always posting count. that kind of stuff. Have you seen what he posts? <laughs> But who <laughs> broke your heart, ta? Huh? Don't Which ask. Of the five <laughs> broke he's lying. <laughs> <laughs> But this nice five bro yeah five damn six <laughs> more and you'll have one cricket team <laughs> a cricket team I want to have a football team though <laughs> <laughs> you know what no but dude that is that is bullshit to be honest like well, I can't include my school why? relationships what was there was nothing relationships means plural were there in plural school. were there in school and I'll, I'll, I'll no, tell you my school relationships I, I don't think he'll watch but I had a friend and she actually liked this boy and then she figured out I like he liked me so she's gotten into a relationship with him on my behalf and she's like you are dating him this happened over the weekend so monday i am now dating this boy and uh i was so scared i was like what the fuck what am i supposed to do i don't know what people one does when they date so this boy he was my senior he's come to my floor and i walked out of the washroom seen him and i walked back into the washroom like i just stayed in the washroom for the whole of the lunch break because i was so scared to see him and the next day i I've like fully run away from him for one week. I he kept running. It was like running and catching. I kept running away every time I saw him and then he was like this is not happening. And that's how my first relationship ended. Does he know you're not with him now? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it ended. Like we spoke about it and I was like <laughs> so you finally met him basically. So yeah, I and I'll tell you how it ended. So we all used to like uh, all our vans used to stand outside school. here in indranagar only and i i was standing with a bunch of friends and he came to me like with hope in his eyes and he like tapped on my shoulder and he was like where is this girl and i was like i don't know and i turned away <laughs> and he was like so sad about it and then after he broke up with me oh my god and i was like yes and how long was that <sighs> a week or like five days so for one week we were just running away yeah oh my god. so basically one year uh, one, one week year. <laughs> one week you've been in a relationship but You guys do not speak. The no. day you speak is the day. Is the ends. day you guys ended, <laughs> <laughs> which are, somehow is the constant in every relationship. Oh my that. god! <laughs> the day she speaks, it's <laughs> wow. Am I not fun? To that talk is why no, no, the name are. of our account is no comments. <laughs> <laughs> See now I'm going to leave this podcast because you're just shitting on me. Am I not fun to speak to Kailash? <laughs> Outside of a relationship, maybe. Why? Why do you think I'm horrible in a relationship? Why are you blaming me for all my? Is it because you're a man and I'm a woman? Just like oh, you blame wow. me. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm, uh, no comments. <laughs> no comments. <laughs> no, no but, I'm just like it was a joke. No, but Kailash, how has your relationship been? Like the three one, the three relationships you're mentioning. How how has it been? Yeah, not good. Clearly, why I'm not in them <laughs> right now. Ended and is not good. <laughs> what what was the longest duration and the shortest one? Shortest one, I I don't know, but the longest one was one one and a half year, mm. around that yeah. You Divya? <laughs> I don't know how to answer this question. So, my ex and I dated for three years, and after that we were on and off. If you consider the entirety of the time, it's like ten years. <laughs> oh my god! So. Was He's that ten married. years? You oh. fell in love twice. Was that the one you're mentioning? No, I'm not. That's what he said. I never said these things. <laughs> He's speaking like he knows all my relationships. Hey, I didn't even speak. I asked you. <laughs> He, you said it like a statement that Shankies believe now. <laughs> Shankies believing for some other reason, not because of what I said. No, no, I know a lot of backstory about you. Backstory again is Shankies. <laughs> no, but I actually even do. I do Shanky. <laughs> We're not I talking do. about that. <laughs> But What is this no, inside no, joke? I don't understand. No, no, no. The, Shanky and I are uh, aware of <laughs> information about bo- each other. Hmm. Yeah. So Kailash, uh, now moving to you, I have like questions for both of you now. A few questions that I have prepared. Starting with Kailash. So Kailash, career or love of your life? Who would you? What would you choose? Career or love of my life? Ah, huh? career. Divya. I want to say love of my life, but I'll choose career as well. No, just say it. Career. Career. You yeah. sure about it? Because I don't feel that you're sure about it. Even I'm not sure about it, but <laughs> I want to choose career. You want to choose career? Yeah. And why is career? So, for example, you're dating the girl or the guy for like more than five years, seven years, 
and then there comes a time where you have to choose between career or love of your life what would that career always salute salute for that divya same i know your answer anyways what do you know my <laughs> i feel like both of you are just answering for me why why am i not allowed to answer <laughs> okay answer 5 7 years i've dated somebody and i have to choose career great great choices guys thank you okay. what is it for you <laughs> career i think it is always career for me it has always been career for me it will always be career for me it is not that i won't love the person or is there any thing bad against them but i know my priorities and it is always career yeah yeah i think all of us are in the same phase same, no, same. i'm i'm fully ready to be like extremely successful and miserable for the rest of my life as long as i'm successful and i'm okay with being successful and being single throughout my life yeah that's what i said yeah. i i yeah. fully convinced myself that the way you'll be successful it's fine if you're miserable and I i'm know, okay right. with it same goes for you as well yeah Maybe i know you should go to therapy <laughs> you should definitely have you guys tried therapy by absolutely i've been in that's therapy right. extensively so but ha- does therapy help like because a lot of people again from the outside point of view a lot of people they've been to therapy but maybe it has not helped them a lot for you guys you've been to therapy both of you has it helped so if you want therapy to help you you need to be open to it a lot of people aren't think that they go to therapy and it will resolve your problems it's not like that they're not going to tell you why you the way, way you are or why that person is treating you like this people go to therapy to get answers but that's not how it works you go to therapy to learn something and then come back and apply it in your life and you have to put the work which is something not everyone is willing to do, willing to do. Yeah, if you're not willing to do it, therapy will not work for you. Right. You can't just go into therapy and be like, "Oh my God, I'm healed now." No, or I have all the answers. It's not that. It's not simple like that. You have to put in the work. You go to therapy to learn something, and you come back and implement in your life. And if you don't, that's on you. Then you're not gonna seek the benefits. Right. I same, bro. Same. She spoke. I think for the entire world. You've been to therapy. Was it after you guys broke up or something? Something. No, no. For me, it wasn't. It, it had nothing to do with the lady. I went to therapy when I was really young. I went to therapy when I was sixteen. Oh wow! Yeah. And uh, your parents knew about it because I'm just trying to understand because my parents, me, we've all done family therapy also together. Wow, that is good. It was. It didn't feel that good. It was a very like stressful situation at the time. But yeah. I, But now I, when you look back, it is still stressful. There's okay. nothing great out of it. <laughs> I, but I did not know there's something called family therapy. Yeah, I didn't know either. Oh, it's what, not what it? that uh, it was during my therapy sessions that my parents were called and like, you know, they also were given some sort of therapy. So basically, it's not that we're given therapy. We all just spoke and like discussed the whole situation. So basically, there's a therapist hmm. and the whole family sits together with the therapist hmm. and you guys start talking. No, it was for one session with me that that happened. Hmm. So do you do you know the concept of sugar mommy and sugar daddy? Of course. Yes. What do you think about it? Is it good? Is it bad? Or I you want to be it. a part of it? <laughs> Super cool. Somebody is. <laughs> I think Kailash. Are you a sugar daddy? Are you mad? Or you have a sugar mommy? No, no, I don't. Ni- neither. Neither. But you like the concept. It's a good concept. You want to be in one of them? No. Never. Never. But if you had to be, would you be a sugar baby or sugar daddy? Sugar daddy. Okay. I'd I'd be a sugar daddy too. You'll be a sugar daddy. Mm. But do you think it it really works out? Like it is just the money part, right here, nothing else. What do you See, mean bro, it works out? Like, it's not like a functioning relationship. It's no, not a functioning think, relationship, but it is just the money part. I don't think that that a concept like that will work in India. It if it works, it'll probably work for like the top one percent with like the most money. They they don't have like they have first world problems. I it'll love first that, world problems. It'll work for that segment. But it won't work for the rest. It doesn't even work. How how do you do you see an auto driver being a sugar daddy to someone? No, right? No, no it's, it's only not for rich people. It's, it's only for something that's only for rich people. Sugar daddy is only rich people. No, I'm not saying like okay. So now you're saying that people on the lower segment of the society, lower or uh, whatever blue collar, they're not eligible to be sugar daddies or sugar. Like is that what we're saying right now? No, they can be too. Huh. But is it a sustainable? Option not sustainable hmm. but think they wouldn't even be willing to like they wouldn't be open to the idea of no perfect. i think everybody will be open to the idea if someone has money and someone's pretty and the only way this person's going to get attracted to that person is if this person gives him money and that person wants the money it's going to happen it's going to happen no, in but, every segment no but what he's talking about he's talking about the values that we have in india hmm. maybe because of that maybe a lot of people don't want to accept it 
hmm. and they will not accept it the they arrangement won't. of no everybody in this is one thing everyone in india will be okay with uh, how, why why do you think so because dowry which it's there in the system people are trained to think like that oh wow okay that is one thing but i think a few famous celebrities i don't know about celebrities or like with some famous people i have seen couples like that hmm. uh, like sugar mommy sugar daddies and yeah 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 a, a lot of relationships right 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 they pick up atkur and ranveer kapoor ranveer singh are in an open relationship don't start again i know it how i just do <laughs> i feel it <laughs> i look at them and i'm like i know it you know a lot about your relationship you know a lot about their relationship what is this divya i know a lot about every relationship i'm a relationship expert you know about every relationship but you know a lot about your relationship my relationship i know everything about it's extraordinary the extraordinary. relationships i've had i have had and they're amazing oh great are you in one right now next question <laughs> <laughs> no but are you dating divya Honestly, are you dating? Why are you blushing? Is that a yes? Obviously. Dude, I can see her vein and all pop from this side. <laughs> oh, thank God, you're not saying hickey is coming out of here. <laughs> I don't When want to see. When you did this, I was like, oh, he's talking about some hickey. I don't no, want to no. see. But are you are you in a relationship with her? <laughs> Say it. I I don't know. Okay, I'll take that as as an answer. So okay, now because you you said that, if you are in a relationship. you've been together for some time now and the sex is bad hmm what do you do next like would you want to be in the in a relationship like that where the sex is bad and you're still okay with going forward or sex is very important and it is a part of the growth in a relationship it depends do i have kids in that relationship no no kids it's a just where a, has he gone <laughs> <laughs> he's gotten married and now he has children yeah no, so no we're not talking about kids here okay if if there are no kids but let's say the like whoever the other like the the female is of um is loyal doesn't cheat does not uh like respects me expects respect from me uh is independent is is very uh vocal about thoughts i it won't matter to me so you mean like sex is just a part if other things are really working out yeah you would still go ahead with it yeah yeah oh, great have you If I was in in love, if I was in love with that person, I would be fine. I, I mean, I previously have been the ten year. Okay, I can't say that. Poor thing, he's a nice see. person. <laughs> he's married now. I can't say all this about him. <laughs> I currently don't have that issue. So, but, no, but you you saying if you are in love, but you are in a relationship, obviously you are in love, right? No. I can teach them things. Not can always way. educate. They can. Sex is something that can be learned always, right? Always, always, always. Than other things that you want from them, being loyal, being all all of all of the things that that cannot be you cannot learned. teach them. Yeah, yeah. You can't right. teach them. You can't teach yeah. them. That just comes hmm. out. But sex is something that can be taught. So you would teach your partner then. Sure. Hands down. So whatever relationships you've been in, now you're talking about spending. So is it? Is it the guy? <laughs> what do you think? Is it the guy who should always spend more? Is it the girl who should spend more? What have you done in your relationship? Like if if the girl doesn't want to spend, it's cool. Like I'm not expecting that because I can sustain for two three people easily today. Uh, there have been like there has been a one relationship where the girl never used to spend, and that I is a bad do, sign, right? I mean, so she couldn't, couldn't. Okay, right. Got it. So it's cool. I I would uh, handle the load for both. If the other person expects me to do it, like saying, right, you should. Do it. Do it. You know see the you. line. You know see the line. You, see you. See you. Bye. <laughs> you know the line. Divya, you've in your relationship. <laughs> you've you, no. Tell me, you've what were you going for there? <laughs> uh, he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> like he's, he's like Divya. You have. <laughs> you, you have. <laughs> no, no. You, I, I want you to answer. I, I have your answer, but I'm like you. You. <laughs> how do you know how much I'm spending in my relationship? I really want to know. I have your bank details. Now I want to know. I have your bank details. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like. What's the question? I'm a big time stalker. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly. are you? I should. I should look her out next time when I'm going out. Is <laughs> Shanky there? No, honestly, yeah. It, it's equal. There's no one person spending. I always, if 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 the guy pays, I find other ways to make it up. So it's always been equal. I'm a nice person. But like is that. it a red flag when the 
other person asks you to spend like purposely they are well off but still they're asking you to spend is that a red flag yeah that would be a red flag but i've never experienced that you know but would that be a red flag the, that red flag would would it be so strong that you want to end the relationship so what like this person is asking me to pay for shit like yeah, every and time they like, have money they have money but they're just asking you to spend all the time oh, no that's annoying so would you end your relationship then maybe yeah 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 kalash bro i so in the fa- in the past few months i've i've been thinking about this concept of a red flag right apart from a few things in this current generation i feel like this entire concept of a red flag is is flawed what is a red flag a red flag is something that you don't like in the other person right like. but if the other person is willing to work on it why is it a red flag as opposed to room for growth oh wow okay like if let's say if the other person is asking you to spend See, money that's constantly that's not fun on social media now no that's why they do it no but i so you can't let social media dictate your life right you need to let's say if the other person is expecting you to spend money all the time right now if now that's a red flag right if if you're willing to say hey listen i don't have that much money or i i don't want to be spending all of the time Honestly, it's it's you can communicate that and if the other person is willing to solve it then you can solve it why is break up the the final end goal over here right why 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 are you not solving it no so i think red flag also what people talk about usually red flag is before you get into a relationship basically red flag is something as soon as i meet someone the first time something and i have those out. perceptions about them so that becomes a red flag and green flag and i think that is what is like considered to be a red flag or a green flag in the society mm-hmm. or else once you get into a relationship what you said is absolutely right no even before you get into a relationship let's say i've i've met her for the first time right and i'm like okay she is willing to spend money on me but i don't want her to keep spending money on like i've just reversed the roles here and i'm saying i don't want her to keep spending money on me i can tell it to her right and also there are what you perceive as red flag is always something that you can communicate, communicate. like without communicating and without letting no letting know what you think uh, to the other person you're calling it a red flag and you're not one willing to explore that relationship to think you've break up as the end goal three you're losing out on an opportunity i mean apart from the red flag is there no scope of growth right there should be if if that person has feelings for you they will make that change they will make that change. if if you think of that as a red flag then yeah i think they will make that change. so but what if you've already spoken to them about it and they're still not making that change in their life Fuck then them. that yeah you should realize what you want what more. you what you want do you want to be in a relationship mm-hmm. with that being uh you know a continuous thing you have to deal with or do you want to be outside of the relationship and not have to think of it so that is a red flag so do you believe in green flag like again green dude everyone like pretends in the beginning <laughs> i know yeah fully <laughs> fully attest fully bro like but still like what are your green flags see? i feel like bamboozled sometimes i'm like what i did not sign up for this i did it somebody else no that day some other person yeah, where did that mean? person so go so sweet so cute so <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so but, wholesome but that is that is how all of us are right i we We like, tend no, to I, 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 no, I show that I'm crazy in the first. I think you men do this. But what I do think... you mean? <laughs> no, wait. What do you mean? You men do this. Dude, I'll tell you. When, like, you guys want a girl, no, you'll do anything to have her. Mm-hmm. Okay, if you once you get the girl, even if she's fucking Aishwarya Rai, mm-hmm. she's not Aishwarya Rai anymore. She's just your girl. Mm-hmm. So then it's like. it's just my girl mm-hmm. so she loses that la- like that fanciness that you had previously mm-hmm. and then this then you get like like lazy about stuff okay I have can i say girl girls don't understand sports sports in what way exactly in general in girls general. don't understand sports i understand certain sports you understand sports you might have met a guy who treats you like that doesn't no, this is mean how all men are in general Absolutely. all women don't understand sports Okay, fine, say it. But I, I, I'm very confident that this is how men are. No, I'm very confident that women don't understand sports. <laughs> women don't. Yeah. I agree to the fact that men are like this. No, uh, but uh, Divya, what you said. Okay, I, I have something like very strong on this. So, say okay, men are making those efforts for the girl they want to be with. They have like we really want to show that affection in the beginning. Listen to me. Let me complete. Okay, so we are trying to show that affection. 
Now the point is, now you have that perception in your head, okay, they are showing me affection. Now, once we get into a relationship, that maybe it goes down a little bit. I get it. But why do you take it in a way that it has gone down from there and can't you start giving that extra affection? We do. I'll it tell doesn't you what. happen. It I'll doesn't tell you happen. What. Like guys fall in love in the beginning. Girls keep falling in love more and more. That's that's the thing. I'll tell you what. Like a guy, it's it's it's. I'm not saying it in a bad way. Okay, no, yeah. I understand. Like you might have work or whatever, and at that time you can completely detach from your love and you can only focus on work. But women, even if I have like two hundred things that I have to do, I will text my man. In that moment, before I do those two hundred things, just because I want to, I won't put it away. I I don't think so. You've found guys like us, to be honest. It is just it all depends on because I make sure if even if I'm here and if my girl has texted me, I will make sure I'll just give her a call and tell her I'm in the shoot. I'll call you after the shoot. So men are men like us. We do. So what he said is absolutely right. You cannot just judge all the men on the basis of that someone has done that to you. Everyone is different here. I don't completely agree. Okay, like let's 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 give out examples that are the out there in the world, right? Hmm. Ryan Gosling and Blake Lively. Okay. Right. Vicky Kaushal and Katrina Kaif. Right. I don't think they're in love. You don't think doesn't mean they are not, right? Katrina you Kaif is in love with Ranbir Kapoor. Ranbir Kapoor is in love with Katrina Kaif, and. Hey, listen, Bishra Karan Johar. <laughs> you keep it in your pants, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work that way. See, Deepika is still in love with Ranbir. Ranbir is in love with Katrina. Katrina is in love with Ranbir. I don't know where what Alia is doing, but she's just like present and yeah. I like how men have conspiracy theories that, <laughs> oh dude, God. you know this might have happened, but this is conspiracy <laughs> theory for. <laughs> but Divya, like, what do you watch usually? Like, how do you have so much knowledge about Bollywood? I really you don't. You just keep watching. People, my friends tell me. Karan Johar. My up. mom, my mom is the biggest gossip monger I've known. If I go tell her this happened, she's like, "No, you don't know. I will tell you this has happened. I have seen it with my own eyes. I know it. I was in the room. She'll talk to me like that. She she's told me that. <laughs> I don't know if you should put this in. <laughs> my mother's fully told me that Aishwarya Rai has slept with Amita Bachchan. <laughs> <laughs> And she's like, it has happened, Divya. I'm oh like, how oh, are you speaking these things? She's like, no, it has happened. I know it. And I'm like, how do you know? She's like, I just know it. Oh my! <laughs> I dare you to put this in the final episode. I'm going bro. to do that. <laughs> this is definitely coming up. <laughs> like this, my mother gives me such, such, you know, Big Boss Tamil. Whenever Big Boss goes on, even before eviction, she will watch the predictions and then she will watch all the YouTube videos that says who's going to get evicted. And after that, she'll sit and watch it. And after that, my mom and dad will have like a fifteen-minute conversation every day after Big Boss as to what has happened. And you are a part of that conversation. Like I, that is how I, you get all the knowledge from. I yes, that's my superpower. And that is exactly what you're telling the whole audience. What your mom thinks. Mom is. thinks. <laughs> that is the truth, guys. <laughs> <laughs> my mom said. <laughs> You know their age gaps, okay? So you know, I'm just asking okay. another thing that you know the, about their age gap. So Ashwarya is basically elder, elder. to Abhishek Bachchan. Hmm. Would you date someone elder to you? Like yeah, I only date you? men who are elder. I can't. No. Three Would you years? date someone younger? Never. Three hmm. years older than me is my. Maybe once I get older, yeah, I, I, I'll fully be a hypocrite and I'll completely go back on everything I'm saying and date like a cute younger boy. But as of now, I only want to date people who are older than me. <laughs> You would date. I people. wouldn't mind. Yeah, dating. Three years older, older than me is my Virat favorite. Virat Kohli is cool. married. So uh, married to someone older. Sachin Tendulkar is married to someone older. It's it's nice. I I love the way you pick those. Uh, like I grew people, up watching like, them. Right? Yeah, the people, I, the names you mentioned, they're like very successful, and and I think I I can just see that that is what that is where you want to get. Okay, it is not about older elder, but the way you mention those names, like. All the successful people you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. So and I think you have that inspiration from them. Like, yeah. If you bro. get a older wife, Hands like a down. wife who is elder to you, you will be more successful. No, Hands down. Listen, what does that mean? If you get oh a wife wait, you can say all men will <laughs> court you only until <laughs> you fall men. in pants. Though I after hate that, men. Will... I just I hate all men. Ah, clearly. See, that is a very generic <laughs> answer. I'm so cancer, no, no, but I'm yeah, yeah. I mean, you can have that opinion. I love men. I I'll be very honest, Divya. 
I'll be very, very honest, and it is very blunt, but I'll be very honest with you. So You've scared. been with very wrong people. You've been with wrong men, I guess. Can you not put this in? <laughs> No wait, you haven't thought about it until now. No, no, because oh. I'm just telling you. Don't put this in because I'll be questioned left, right, no, no, center I'm, after. I'm just, no, I'm going to put this in, and that is I want to tell. You I'm can't gonna, put this in. No, see, Divya, according to whatever you're saying about men, right? I think you've just not been with the right men. Don't put this in. Don't say this to me on fucking camera, please. I have to deal with certain things that I can't. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, let's talk really about. Really fun, but let, let's it's talk not about, going to be fun. No, for us. <laughs> let's talk about toxicity. Do you think? You can be in a relationship which is toxic. No, bro. What is toxic? Uh, what is toxic for you, Aidil? When I don't get space, when mm-hmm. I'm being questioned all the time, uh, when I, like, let's say I'm with my boys, right? I want to be with my boys. It's my boys. I don't know who is bothering a man for being with their boys anymore. Are there girl- girls are still doing that? One point. girl might be doing that. I'm not going to say <laughs> all, all girls the are girls. doing that. Exactly. Thank you for saying that. Thank you for saying that, Kailash. <laughs> oh, do you th- uh, have you ever been in a toxic relationship? And what what is toxicity for you? <laughs> I've not been in a toxic relationship. Okay, so what is like say what is toxic for you in a relationship? What is hypocrisy? It? I don't like hypocrisy. I don't like it when you want to be treated a certain way but you can't like treat the other person the same way. I don't like. Like, it. give an example. If you want me to uh, be understanding and compassionate about you acting a certain way because something upsets you and when i act a certain way because something upsets me and you are not able to give me that same compassion and patience that i gave you that pisses me off but are you acting a certain way because the other person acted that way or is that something that also bothers you i'm sorry i get that let's say your partner is <clears throat> acting a certain way because you went and drank with your friends mm. right now next time your partner goes and drinks with their friends Are you getting upset because that upsets you, or are you getting upset because no, they got no, upset like the other time? No, not like that. Not tit for tat kind of things. Like if you've had a bad day and you're acting crazy, I've been nice and like compassionate. If I had like something happen, if I'm not doing great, and then that time you're just like, why the fuck are you like that? Hmm. I I I don't want to hear why the fuck are you like that because when you acted insane, right. I was fucking there for you. Absolutely. That's something right. that it really bothers me because if you want to be treated a certain way, you have to treat the other person a certain way as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I think yeah. that is the way I'm telling you. I think you've been in those kind of situations. No, this is just an example. It's not it that I've been in it. You've not, never been in such. No, such no, I've had the most successful. Because I can see it in your eyes that you. I can see pain in her eyes, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I, can, <laughs> I think by the end of this podcast, she'll <laughs> just cry. Slept. She's I'm going to change slept. her eyes after this. Slept. <laughs> okay. Now, because we have done with this, I have some crazy rapid fire round for you. I'm so I don't know scared. if you were expecting that or not. Okay. So, who wants to start first? I have like a set of questions. Whatever comes to your mind, you just have to say it quickly. Hmm. Go though. Did you want to start? Sure. Okay. Fuck it. Okay, don't think about it. Are you ready, Divya? I'm really not thinking. I have no idea what I've spoken. I'm. I think I'm still drunk from yesterday. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> okay, so we start the rapid fire with Divya. Ready? Three, two, one, go. So, one night stands or situation ships. Situation trips. I'm not a one night stand kind of girl. If you had to date an influencer, which influencer would it be? I wouldn't date an influencer. I like boys who don't post on Instagram. If you had to date one, Logan Paul. Oh, best friend or boyfriend? In what ways, best friend or boyfriend? See, if you had to pick one. <sighs> See, there's a situation where you have to pick your best friend or your boyfriend. So who do you pick? My best friend. Love marriage or arranged marriage? Love marriage. One profession you would never date. Um, criminal. Hmm, that's not a profession. <laughs> <saying>. <laughs> that is not like a profession. Nobody... I actually would absolutely date a criminal. Like nobody. If, if you are like. Running a mafia, just like marry me tomorrow. I want to be a why, gang. Why do girls like bad boys? I don't know about girls, but They I. Do. I've heard it a lot. Yeah. Girls yeah. like I bad boys. I fully boy. want to be like a mob wife. Fully, just fully want to be a mob wife. No, but is this statement correct? Girls like bad boys. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I I don't know what. Do you think, Divya? <laughs> 
Please say it. Please, she's <laughs> laughing again. I like bad boys. Yes. Why? Like I don't know. Dude, what do good people like us do in the? I have issues. I <laughs> become bad. Oh my god. Sad. Why yeah. though? You don't know. You haven't. No, I just I I I, I am also like a bad boy myself. Hmm. So I think that's why. Oh, I I really feel bad for myself, honestly. <laughs> Honestly, because I'm so kind, I'm so good, and like, I feel bad about it. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why okay. are you giving me that? <laughs> okay. Yeah, we are going to talk about that later. <laughs> okay, we move to Kailash now. Hmm. Okay, Kailash. Again, rapid fire questions for you. Whatever comes to your mind, just speak it out. Full time content creation or a secure job? Full time content creation. If you like a girl, but mummy doesn't, what would you do? I'm pretty sure my mom will like the girl I like. No, but let's say yeah. I trust my mom. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> old school love or a Gen Z love? Old school love. I feel. Oh my God! Don't even get me started <laughs> of where the Gen Z people are just hit in the head, dude. Don't get me started. <laughs> old school love any day. No, what is that bad? What is that one bad thing you hate about Gen Z love? Bro, see today it's become very. Uh, have you seen how? women say oh women are better than men and there are men who say women can't do this so men are better than women it's not about who is better than who it's not about you going into a relationship and saying oh, fuck you i don't need you to be in this relationship i can do things on my own right. that is not it's not a negative thing it's supposed to be if let's say you're you're dating someone or you're married right and your partner is ill you should be able to pull strings from both ends like hold that relationship right, right. if they're not in town you should be able to pick up slack for both people it means you should be self sustainable it shouldn't be uh, something like you sh- to shit on other people and say oh i am better than you i don't need you i don't I need a man or oh, i don't need a woman it's it's not uh, since when did it become a competition in the exactly. first place it right it really is like i keep telling <coughs> all of my friends that are dating i keep telling like people who i'm dating also it's not about like keeping score it's not yeah. about winning right. like it's not about who's right or who's wrong like who cares who's right or wrong in the end of the day you need to come to a conclusion and find like common ground and move on yeah and i don't like there's so much ego these days that people carry like like you have to be willing to lose in a relationship like it's not it's a fucking it's not a fucking debate hands down and yeah. what's the point like you're able to do things that you need to do to live like why is that something to be proud of like if you're saying you're independent that's the basic requirement for you to and, and let me tell you nobody is independent at all like if today there's something wrong with my electricity or if you know i need something to get done i need someone right, right like right. nobody is entirely independent get that no and nobody is ever self made there it's always consequences people who they meet times outcomes when where why what all of that makes someone makes someone it's nobody is ever truly independent and I, i'll tell you what what i feel nowadays like in in a relationship it's like this thing like oh i don't need to do this right now i just have to focus on myself i think you can very well focus on yourself and yeah. also still be in a relationship you yeah. don't have to like throw that away just to focus right. on yourself yeah. i that whole idea that i can only focus on myself like if i don't know i feel like just not like throwing away a relationship not giving enough in a relationship is something that's made almost trendy now that people just do cuz you can do, you should do it or it's like the right thing to do but you know when you say old school love you like you stick with you love someone you stick by them until and unless you don't love them and you don't want to be with them anymore that's different but if you love someone and you've come to someone you stick whatever happens that's what like that that's the kind of person you want to marry like who's going to stick by you no matter fucking what but, but yeah, these what, days no one has that mindset but what you said is like people who say that okay they are in a relationship and they are like okay we don't want to do it and all okay what you just remember i think when in you are when you are in a right relationship you would never say that see the thing is people first of all rush into relationships right now cuz it's like hmm. like kids just rush into relationships and then they like act like they're so in love and then you know it's it's, it's going to get burnt out because you shouldn't have rushed into it it's you will only be in a right relationship if you take the time and like really invest in it and you just don't get into it because it's like nice have you have you ever been in a rushed relationship i mean have i been in a rushed relationship no 
Never. I don't like just jump into relationships. Kailash? No, but I've been in relationships where the other person just assume they're in a relationship, and I'm like, oh shit. And you did not know about it. Yeah, like I've I, yeah, and then I also made my peace saying, okay, yeah, maybe. Okay, we are in a relationship. Yeah, I've been in that. <laughs> so people don't talk. You mean to say? No, like it's just like okay. How often have you seen like right now the old school? Hey, listen, I like you, or I think we that kind of conversation doesn't happen, right? It's just you hit it off, and then you somehow end up. That is true. Like, how does one like this? this like, are guys asking girls? The lines are very murky. To like today. Uh, be my girlfriend? Uh, is that happening? Because I don't know. I don't think so. It's be my girlfriend or something. It's just that I love you. Ha! Huh, but I I love you also is it's is not. It's a very not, loose term. You yeah, can say it, but like people are using it very. Loosely. Loosely People today. don't understand, understand the, way the meaning of I love you now. Yeah, it can't like, be easy. Anyone is just randomly using it. Even I think after one night stand, people told, are just using it. See, I've only yeah. told two men in my life that I've been in love with them. I've not said the words I love you to anybody else. Like, I've, it's only been two people who have, who have said it to. So, I really, like, say it only when I say it. People do not know the real meaning of Yeah, I, I've only I told know. the people who have been in love with that I love them. I, I also, and I won't say it. Okay, have you seen these shows from the foreign, like from America and all? Whenever there are like the, these dating shows, when they like each other or something, they will never say that I love you or something. Even before getting into a relationship, they will be like, I really like you and I really want you to be my girlfriend. They really hold the sanctity of I love you. Yes. Here everyone says I love you like it's like, thank you. Pick your top five influences from the opposite gender. There is, uh, I think Amanda Cerny. Okay. One of the yeah. oldest, right? The second one is. Uh, I said Logan Paul. It's okay. Um, mostly Sin, Rajat okay. Kohli. Yeah. I, but see, that's the thing. I have. I don't influence like creator. This thing is not my thing. Um, do you consider uh, uh, this one uh, a content creator? Uh, what What is her? Kirti history is one of them. Yeah. <coughs> uh, I need two more, no? Rida from Bangalore. Rida, ridiculous. Tarana. Rida Tarana. Tarana. Okay, yeah. Rida Tarana. Huh. Four. Four. And uh, you know Meghna Kaur? Meg- no. She troublemaker. She the troublemaker. She the no, I haven't. No. Okay. Uh, you know what? What are the other group people from that team? The more people, no, in that same group. She troublemaker. There's some four five influences together. <laughs> Okay, just okay. Four of them. Hmm. If you have to choose one, hmm. who would you date? The out of these four, I think Rida is Rida. Yeah. Rida is Rida. <laughs> no, like <laughs> no Rida, cause like she's in Bangalore, dude. She's like Bangalore. Amanda Sani and all. Where? Like, <laughs> so due to job. Actually, not reasons. Rida. I feel like Rida's sister is is cute. Hida, I think her name is. I yeah, I don't know. Yeah, 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 I, yeah, yeah. But she's not an influencer or a content creator. But yeah, she's a part of the influencer family. Basically. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that you have a crush on Rida's sister. Yeah. Oh wow, <laughs> that is cute. <laughs> that is very Aww. cute. Rida's sister. <laughs> okay. Love Good marriage way. or arranged marriage? Um. Love, but like, with consent of both families and arranged. Obviously, that is later. But what do you love, prefer? I've, I've, my parents have given me that liberty. They're like, go, Jio apni zindagi. Jio apni. So love marriage. Yeah. Love okay. One profession you would never date. One profession I'd never date. Hmm. This is tough, da. I think it has to be um criminal lawyer. Oh, <laughs> she said a criminal. You You're saying a criminal lawyer, answer. and she is a no, lawyer. No. Criminal lawyer, because see, have you noticed how, like, I mean, anybody. In the court is very manipulative. Yeah. But these criminal lawyers, especially when they're defending a criminal, they have to be that much more manipulative, right? Uh, and this is also based on just what I've I've, I've seen. See, I have very right. little knowledge about it. But I I feel like criminal like I I don't want that. Oh wow! That yeah. is that yeah. is that is like, I love the answers. But she said criminal. Now you said criminal lawyer, and she's studying law. 
Oh yes, oh yeah. And it's like, <laughs> thanks. <See? laughs> I'm talking about you. Are you the criminal lawyer? <laughs> no, no. Okay, so now we are almost towards the end of this whole episode, which was on love, relationships, and life. And animal. For and some animal. Reason. And Amitabh and on Bachchan. Abhishek Bachchan, <laughs> Amitabh Bachchan, Ashwarya Rai, yeah, and uh, Divya's mom, <laughs> <laughs> and YouTube videos, <laughs> and Tamil Big Boss. <laughs> Tamil Big Boss piece. I possibly. didn't even know Tamil Big Boss existed, no, bro. Really like not. she That's had really to tell. That's very uncultured of you. Huh? Kamal Hasan is the host. And it is uncultured. Why? <laughs> <laughs> that guy can do what? So. S- <laughs> do not say bad shit about Kamal Hasan. No, Kamal is is a very Guys, good actor. Guys, he's hating which on is Kamal why he Hasan. Shouldn't. No, no, we're not talking about Kamal Hasan. We're just talking about. I don't even think I am <laughs> like. You know the meaning of arhata. No. Okay. Arhat means like I don't think I'm qualified mm-hmm. to talk about Kamala. Like qualification. Qualified to yeah. like even to talk, reach yeah. that level. But he's God, dude. He's he he's an acting like like master class in himself. <laughs> okay. So before leaving, good. because this uh, this whole podcast was all about love, life, and relationships, and many more what we mentioned. So what is that one advice before you go on to give to all the people who wants to date or who are in relationships? Few of them are in a toxic relationship and they want to come out of it. Mm-hmm. So, what are the few things you want to tell them? See, I I saw this video of M S Dhoni recently, and uh, he he I think it was for the Riggi app if I'm not wrong, and he said, "Stop thinking that uh, Mary Bandi alag hai." Yeah, I've seen that video. That guys. I've seen that. That remember. <laughs> Divya, think before you fall in love. Think if you want. to invest your time in this do you want somebody else to invest time because people don't have value for another person's time do you really think about how your actions are going to affect somebody else don't rush into it because something feels good at the moment do you really think that think of your actions and think of the consequences your actions has in other people i think that's what i would say don't fall into love walk into it Oh yeah. wow. I think that's beautiful. Wow. I think wow. that's the most beautiful thing I ever said. Wow. Wow. I, I can't believe you said that. I mean, I just picked I'm up I'm just some mad more. that you said it and I didn't say it. Yeah, I mean, wow. but I think there's nothing better to end this. No, I think that was it. fucking perfect. Okay. You perfect. Guys, so with this I think it's also my voice. I said it in that <laughs> <laughs> voice. Yeah, the way he said it. Just don't fall for it. Just walk in. I love it. It's too cute. The favorite line from the whole today's show. Today's show. No? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Okay. So with this, guys, we come to the end of our second episode, and thank you so much for being here. It was amazing talking to you, talking to you guys. So until then, I'll see you next podcast. Bye bye.